Hello and welcome to a Major Droid unboxing video. Today we're looking at Sharp C10. Uh, this is an interesting mid-range device from Sharp and uh, you may not be a, a familiar with Sharp, I don't know, it depends really on the country, but Sharp in Europe and I'm guessing in America too, is not really all that uh, known for, their, for, for the phones in general. They're mostly based, they're, they're based in Japan and most of the market is also in Japan. So having this phone in our hands and having it to test it, it's really interesting. Let's see if they got anything interesting. First of all, on the box, we got no specifications anywhere. It's, it's, it's a pretty plain box, we got the marking on the sides. And uh, yeah, that's it, it says, it says some uh, frequencies here. So yeah, let's check out the vacuum, vacuum test. That's fair enough. That's that, that's just as uh, just as it should be. So you got the phone here first up front. It's the first thing they package it to you, and uh, yeah, but we'll leave that for a bit later. This is the phone phone dock, I guess you could call it. And I just gotta mention this whole packaging kind of reminds me of OnePlus with the whole red white thing. Yeah, it's it's very OnePlus esque if I may say, but. Uh, yeah, let's put our finger here in this little hole and see what's below. So, as we can see, we got a uh, cable here. This is the non-tangle cable, the flat one, which is very nice to see. I see most phones using the round ones, which are just, yeah, it's, they're generic and the rubber is kind of not, uh, not that great on them. This one seems to be made out of the same rubber, but at least it's flat, so it should prevent tangling. Here, we, it also seems like this phone doesn't have a 3.5mm jack, because this is a dongle, from USB-C to 3.5mm, so that's a big bummer, and uh, it could be a big obstacle for some people to, uh, to buy this phone. And what we got to rest here is, uh, is this charger, and yeah, it, it, it's kind of badly packaged, I gotta say. It, it, the power, it's a regular 5V 2 amps charger, so... Although this phone does claim to have some sort of quick charge, some I think Huawei's uh, quick charging technology, but yeah, I guess we'll have to test that in the review because this is uh, this is it seems like a regular 5 volt amp charger. And uh, what we got here, and this, yeah, how do you open this even? From the, oh, you can open it like this. You got the SIM eject tool here. This is like a little, little thing that you push, and the SIM tray exits. And as you can see here, we got a pretty neat case. This is a, you can see it's it's matte. It's not, it's kind of hard too. So, and it's more transparent to the side. So it's really not your usual case that you get with the phones. And uh, I dig this. I, I I really like it. And it should protect from some pretty hard, uh, pretty hard falls as it's pretty thick. And the rest we got here are just manuals, so yeah, it's not. I, I won't even bother looking at it. It's the standard stuff as always. But the star of this unboxing video is the phone, so let's check that out. Slide it out here. There we go. So this is the Sharp C10, and uh, I gotta say, first impression, it's pretty light. In, not in a bad way. I mean, this is plastic. Yeah, it's it's plastic for sure, but it still it feels really nice and neat in your hand. It, it's it's like some sort of a business phone. Kind of reminds me it reminds me of the new BlackBerry. But uh, yeah, we got a dual camera setup here. And regarding the specifications, as far as I remember from checking out on the specs online, this thing has a Snapdragon 630 chipset and four gigabytes of RAM, which is I mean that's that's fairly reasonable for uh, for a mid-range phone. You got uh, this is a notch in case you can't see, and this is a front-facing fingerprint reader which you can't click. It's not a button. It's just a fingerprint reader. So it's it's really weird. You can see you can see it's kind of it's it's indented, but it's not. So I don't know how to describe it. You can feel it, but just barely. It's like it's just a little recession inside. So, really, really interesting design. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we got the buttons here, and of course, there's no, there's no 3.5 millimeter jack. This is the only, this is the only connector on the phone. The phone has. So, yeah, this, uh, and f I forgot to mention this, but it's pretty important. The aspect ratio. You may notice that this phone is kind of wide. That's because this is a 17.9. 
aspect ratio screen. So it's not 69, uh, standard full HD. It's not uh, 18, 18.5, 19. It's 17.9, and that's something that I, I don't think I've ever seen yet. So this thing. Whew. Oh, and I can see from inside. I hope it is. I hope it's not fake. This looks like a two-tone flash. So that's a nice thing to have, unless you want all of your pictures looking out very cold. But uh, yeah, we'll turn this on and check this out in the review. So we'll we'll leave the interesting bits for then. But this is just to to get you warmed up for the for the upcoming review. And uh, yeah, so expect that in about a month. And we'll look at all the ups and downs of this phone because this looks like one interesting piece. And uh, no, no no bubble. That's that's good. So yeah, thanks for watching.